I want to talk about the gameplay ability system, uh, ability costs and ability cooldowns, because they can be a bit of a headache to deal with. If you've been working with the gameplay ability system, you will note that if, uh, for instance, my uh, gameplay ability for the player dash over here, you have these cost and cooldown gameplay effects that you can put in. But you'll also quickly run into having to make separate gameplay effects for each of your abilities because they all have different cooldowns and they all have different amounts of like mana cost which ends up being very unintuitive very clunky and just not very smooth to work with what we want is we want a little field somewhere down here that is just a uh float that we can give a number into saying hey this costs 50 mana and the cooldown for it is also, like, preferably a float. The cooldown for it is two seconds. That's more of a Z than a two, but you get the point. Luckily, though, it's actually fairly simple to set that up with a couple of lines of C++ code. So simple, in fact, but this is a little bit of a different type of video. We're not going to set this up from scratch. I'm just going to show you my code because it is so little that you probably will be fine just reading my code as I explain it. So the very first and most important thing is, uh, as you can see, I do have those values for cost and cooldown up here as part of a cost gameplay ability category. And that is because for this to work, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your C++ classes and you're going to make your own custom gameplay ability base class which is just a gameplay ability class just make a new one here find the gameplay ability and you're going to make a chart class off of that and in my case i ended up calling it cost gameplay ability in the cpp file there's literally nothing you need to do the only thing we need to do is go into the header file for it and we're just going to in the public section add a U property at a default only for the cost and a U property at a default only for the cooldown. Now we have the float for our cost and our cooldown on the gameplay ability itself, which is really where we want to have it. So if we go into the gameplay uh, effect cost class for the mana cost, uh, which is different from the dash because the dash has its own uh, custom logic for that, but uh, we'll see that the mana cost here, uh, it changes the gas player attribute set mana. Now, you do need to make a separate effect for each attribute or set of attributes that you want to change with this. But that, by and far, beats making a different effect for every single ability in your game. And what we'll do is the modifier operation is uh, base, and we're using in the modifier magnitude a custom calculation class. The custom calculation class that I made is called a base cost calculation. So let's go into our C++ classes and figure out what base cost calculation does. So we have it right here, base cost calculation. And if we start out in the header file, we can see that we only need the calculate base magnitude implementation with a gameplay effects pack uh, being given in. Inside there, what I do is I make a U gameplay ability cost pointer. So this is a pointer to the type of ability ability that we made our custom like base ability all the abilities in your game that are going to use this cost system uh, will inherit from this instead of the normal base gameplay ability uh, and then we just cast uh, the spec dot get context dot get ability uh, to our custom class we check whether or not that cast was successful with a simple if statement uh, if it was not successful we just return zero just to have a value you can give this a default value like returning 10 instead uh, it is entirely up to you uh, but if it was a successful cast we now have a point up to the ability that we're uh, going to be executing so we can simply just get the cost from that it really is as simple as that and with the cooldown length it is uh, actually exactly the same but instead of uh, getting the cost we just get the cooldown and of course, in my cooldown effect, uh, what I use is my uh, get cooldown length calculation instead. So now, in my Thunder ability, I can set the uh, cost to being only 5 mana by just changing this one value on the ability itself. And if I go into my uh, test level over here, I have like a whole inventory system set up for this, uh, but this is my uh, Thunder spell. And now we can start spamming this because it only takes about 5 MP for every single cast, which is fairly overpowered because it's a 
fairly powerful ability. Uh, I think actually I murdered all the enemies around me. So you can see we still have some mana left. But now if I go uh, back in here and I set the cost to 50 instead, I only have about 100 mana uh, by default in this game. So now if I try to run uh, this ability again, you will see that it instantly takes out about half my mana and I can only use it twice before it stops me from using it. So by just changing one simple field now on here, I can change the cost and the cooldown of the ability. Now, it does sometimes do uh, some weird stuff when the uh, cooldown is zero, I noticed. So let's uh, take a look at that. When it is zero, sometimes uh, what happens is after the first cast, it just doesn't allow me to cast again uh, for some reason. So that might be worth uh, considering for the cooldown effect uh, to always just be like 0 0.1 and the default value uh, in your get cooldown length uh, calculation class to always return 0 0.1 as a default as well. It seems like if your cooldown is actually zero, uh, the gameplay ability system doesn't know how to deal with comparing to zero. But aside from that, we now have a very simple, quick, and easy to fine tune way to set our costs and our cooldown for every ability on an individual basis without drowning ourselves in literally a million different gameplay effects that we have to navigate. And a very big thank you to all of my patrons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. A huge thank you to my Cave Digger tier supporters, Sergey Thomas, 